gens, bienvenue sur frappestejeu.fr ou sur mon blog etis103.fr, on se retrouve ici pour une nouvelle vidéo de notre aventure sur The Wolf Among Us. On s'attaque ici au quatrième épisode, je rappelle que le jeu est édité et développé par Telltale Games, toujours sur femme d'épisode, justement ici on s'attaque au quatrième comme je vous l'ai précisé il me semble, et le... ce dernier est sorti le 27 mai 2014, a été déconseillé au moins de 18 ans, alors... Ça a fait un petit moment que j'aurais pu le filmer, enfin le pu le filmer. Façon de parler, j'attendais en fait encore une fois le patch de traduction. Hein, L'équipe de TTG Trad Team a été un petit peu longue à, à le sortir celui-là, mais en même temps, comme ils l'ont si bien expliqué, il y a beaucoup plus de boulot que sur un épisode de Walking Dead. Bref, donc épisode 4, comme je le disais, déguisé en agneau. C'est parti If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long with the queen. Ah, oh, je trouve mignonne Bloody Mary. Bon. Il semblerait que ça aille mieux. See around. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, baby. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor! Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Bon, bah c'est ce qu'on va, qu va essayer de faire. On n'a pas l'air doué. On recommence. Et voilà qui est fait. Hmm, not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Uh, 
Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind, we'd appreciate the headroom. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Hey, listen, Please, lady. Please, keep it down back there. Thank you. There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Anyways? Guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? Costaud, quand même, le bestiaux, hein? So... How do you, um... feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. <laughs> I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or... I I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know. It was just awful. Um, pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. I'd make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah, uh... Thanks, Snow. For all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. 
What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. A little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? Be done and buried and we can all move on. I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. And only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't talk to me like I'm other people. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. 
Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around if I came by. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms, and I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I'm not sure how I can... 
Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Something I can do about it. No! Lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off... I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. Came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? 
I have other matters to attend to. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen to it. Fine. Go off in a hop. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Bon, ben je crois qu'il est temps d'en frapper. Bonjour. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors, stirring the pot. You called, right? Or uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Figby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Joli salon. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Intimate. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Je crois qu'il allait le casser la première fois que je l'ai vu faire. Talk about living in the past. Je lis le tableau. Fin de liste. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say. Your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him, and all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man, and I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. 
Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place phone rings off the hook sometimes. I can't hide this anymore. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Besides, it didn't seem like such a bad deal when Jersey Devil was explaining it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And... It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. I just wanted to provide for Beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Cela va être le moment de faire un choix. 
Par où commençons-nous Le Lucky Pound ou le Butcher Massin Chose La boucherie tout simplement. Euh, je vais commencer par la boucherie, je sais pas vraiment si ça change quelque chose de particulier ou non, mais euh, disons que je pense que euh, la bête est plus capable de se défendre que Belle pour le coup. Après c'est un stéréotype on va dire, c'est mal pensé, mais euh, bon étant donné qu'il qu lui peut se transformer, et être un peu plus agressif je pense, euh, quoi qu'il n'y a pas plus agressif qu'une femme en colère, mais bon, euh, je me dis que ce sera peut-être plus pratique à défendre on va dire. Donc du coup je pense que je vais plutôt m'orienter sur la boucherie et qu'ensuite si j'en ai la possibilité j'irai sur le Lucky Pond. Voilà. Et ça va se garder. Je veux savoir ce que le Crooked Man est dans ce butcher shop. Vous savez Bigby, une fois que vous êtes là, le mot va se faire. Il y aura peut-être pas de plus à voir pour vous si vous allez au Lucky Pond après. Eh bien, je pense que je vais le trouver. Oh, les musiques sont superbes. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Et voilà, ça vient de se regarder. On va donc s'arrêter ici pour cette vidéo. J'espère que celle-ci vous a plu, que vous avez passé un agréable moment en ma compagnie. Donc, vous l'aurez remarqué, j'ai souvent fait le, le choix de ne rien dire, de ne rien répondre quand nous en avions la possibilité tout simplement parce qu'il y a des moments où le silence est quand même bien plus, comment dire... Euh... je trouverai pas le mot... Euh, éloquent peut-être... non je ne saurais pas exactement comment dire ça mais je trouve que quelquefois laisser un silence à un moment particulier euh, dit bien plus de choses que tout ce qu'on pourrait euh, expliquer, tout ce qu'on pourrait poser comme question et je pars du principe par exemple quand la personne commence à se confier, qu'en essayant de trop en dire, en essayant de poser des questions, euh, je pense que c'est un, un passage difficile le, le, le moment où on décide de se confier à quelqu'un et le moment où on décide d'être transparent, on va dire ça comme ça. Et euh, du coup je pars du principe qu'en posant des questions, on devient agressif, on oblige la personne à aller plus loin alors qu'elle a déjà la, fait l'effort de commencer à, à dire des choses. Donc euh, je pars du principe qu'il faut seulement commencer à poser des questions lorsque la personne ne sait plus du tout quoi vous raconter et que vous avez la sensation de ne plus avoir de... de, de enfin que vous n'avez pas assez de réponses à vos questions. Sachant que je doute que la plupart des gens sachent répondre à toutes les questions qu'on se pose. Mais bon voilà, c'est pour ça que j'ai fait souvent ce choix de ne pas répondre ou tout simplement de ne rien répondre. Hein, par exemple au début lorsque nous sommes en train de souffrir le martyr pour remettre notre bras, etc. Sachez que si jamais vous mettez trop longtemps à appuyer sur la touche... Euh, en l'occurrence sur le PC, hein, mais sur la, la touche d'action, euh, c'est le docteur Greffon qui vous remet le bras en place. Hein. Ça m'est arrivé une fois, encore une fois, je vous rappelle que le, le clavier est en QWERTY quand on lance le jeu, donc je suis obligé de, de changer le mode et souvent j'oublie ce qui fait que quand j'appuie sur A, c'est pas encore Q, donc des fois je me trompe. Bref, c'est comme ça. Euh, voilà, donc euh, on verra ce qui nous attend chez le boucher. Hein, euh, comme nous l'a si bien dit euh, Bête, euh, il semblerait que euh, Marine soit pas là, hein, Bloody Mary. Encore une fois, j'aime beaucoup son style avec Nerissa, je trouve qu'elles sont vraiment... Bah, d'ailleurs, Blanche aussi, ils sont vraiment superbes. Ils ont un terra design absolument génial dans le jeu. Euh, en tout cas, euh, dans ce qui me concerne, je préfère, je pense, largement The Wolf Among Us à, à The Walking Dead, tout simplement parce qu'il y a le côté fantasy et je trouve ça très très appréciable. Bref, comme je vous dis, on s'arrête ici pour cette vidéo. Encore une fois, vous pouvez retrouver les sauvegardes du jeu, ou de ma partie en tout cas, sur mon blog. Euh, J'espère que cette vidéo vous a plu, encore une fois. En attendant la suite, euh, je voudrais vous remercier, je vous souhaite tout plein de bonheur, pensez positif, n'hésitez pas à découvrir les vidéos de mes camarades filmeurs sur frappestage.fr ou sur mon blog itison3.fr, passez une agréable fin de journée, et à ciao tout le monde, salut